Yeah, man, Supple Purples, shout out to the legendary DJ Battle Cat and all the other, I want to say propeller heads, but it's just recent studios now, is it recent users? The question is, how easy is it to use Vocodyne in recent? Honestly, I didn't know. I haven't been on recent since 2.5, which is a long time ago, but man, opening this up brings me a lot of nostalgia. It's still a really dope DAW. And just check this out. Man, that's just amazing. Anyways, turns out it is easy as pie. First and foremost, let's go into edit and preferences and check out our audio settings. Make sure you got the ASIO driver for your sound card set up. You want a sample rate of either 44 or 48 kilohertz. That's where it works best. And you want the buffer size in between 128 and 512 samples. It needs that to be able to buffer it and process everything. You could probably get it to run at other buffer sizes, but it's going to sound like shit. I will try to optimize that in the future. And of course, you probably already got your MIDI controller hooked up, but make sure you have everything set up for that. Once you have Okadine installed, just make a new audio track. Audio track. Head to Effects. And then you can just search Vocodyne here for convenience sake. Drag it straight onto that audio track. And now actually for what I want to call stage one, you're good to go. You can use it in the auto mode. So just open this up. There we have it. Looks alive. I want to switch on auto and hit keys to set my scale up. For simplicity's sake, C major. We can close that again. And now you want to activate monitoring. And you can sing this robot jam. I do recommend you use this with a MIDI controller because if you want that talkbox sound, a lot of it is in the playing style. So let me show you how to root that. In, and this is actually possible and it is very simple. Just go all the way up to the hardware interface, hit advanced MIDI, and here's where you can root MIDI straight into your effects plugins, among other things. So in here, I'm just going to. Select channel one and hit Vocodyne. Now we're rooted. After that, next step is you need a MIDI track for Vocodyne, right? So I'm going to right click this, hit create track for Vocodyne one, and then just make a new note lane. And you can either, you know, input your MIDI with the mouse or whatever. But if you have a MIDI controller, just make sure they're both armed at the same time. You have monitoring on, and then you can play this thing. Yeah. Wallons, that's it. Oh yeah, quick tip, you laid one track down and you just want to put some harmonies on it. You can just mark both of the tracks, hit Control or Command D. You have a second set. Delete that stuff and now harmonize. I get down for my baby and Z, yeah.